What's up guys, I'm Jesse from Mole the Maker and today we are going over how to build a dumbbell rack for your home gym. Been going through and building a ton of different home gym equipment. I made a squat rack, I made some attachments, and today we are making a dumbbell rack. And to be fair, it's more of a kettlebell rack. I decided to put some tops on where you would put dumbbells. I put some tops, flat tops, that I got from the Metal Mart, which is a local metal supply place, and that is going to be where I put the kettlebells. I am a still new learning how to weld um, DIYer, so uh, if, if you're intimidated by welding, this is a perfect project to start. Now, uh, today for my welder, I'm using an ESOB Rebel 215. It's a multi-process unit, but if you're a DIYer like me, you can go look at their Rogue series. Their new Rogue series is awesome. It's less expensive, is perfect for someone getting into welding. Go check out ESOB on social media, check out their website, and thank you for sponsoring this video. Now, to start any project, I make a 3D version on my iPad. I use a 3D app that you can build. It's really easy to use, really user-friendly. So I built that out so I knew exactly what measurements I needed before I started. I took my material over to my chop saw, cut all of the pieces to length, and then it was time to start welding. start by welding the legs together with the small side braces. There's only gonna be four inch pieces and I'm gonna use three of them because I will have a bottom shelf, a middle shelf, and then a top shelf for my medicine ball, which I'll show you later in the video. Now I'm still new to welding and I've gotten a bunch of different advice online. Sometimes it's conflicting advice, but I went through and I tack welded all the little pieces and then I went through and fully welded them. Now the longer you take your time, I'm finding out welding the better the welds end up being. If when you try to rush it, they usually end up looking ugly and I'm still getting used to uh, taking my time and really getting into this trade. It's fun, but it, it can be um, a little uh, humbling as you try to get these welds better and better. After I got those welded up, I took my grinder and grinded them smooth. Uh, it looks a lot better, plus, uh, my welds aren't the best, so grinding them, it makes it just the project look a lot more professional, I guess, or uh, just aesthetically pleasing. After the legs were together in two sections, I welded up the long pieces on the two bottom shelves. That tubing is a one inch by two inch as well and a 14 gauge. I welded that up so it was all secure, and then I moved on to the top shelf. The top shelf, I'm using just angle iron. I welded that as well to the sides and I'm using angle iron because I don't need as much um, weight or two, I don't need tubing because I'm going to be using a wood top and it's not gonna be a ton of weight. It's gonna be four medicine balls that sit on top. After welding the angle iron, it was time to cut the shelving. So I found these and they worked perfect for the shelf I was looking for. I took my angle grinder and a cutting wheel and cut the shelves to the right length. After cutting the length, I wanted to cut out where the legs go so they sit in real nice and tight. This took some time to mark off and cut and it was a little annoying but overall I'm really happy I did it because I think it looks a lot better this way so there's no gaps on the side. I took my grinder and grinded all the sides and smoothed them out so they weren't rough and I put them into place to make sure they fit. The next step was to paint. I wiped it all down, made sure it was clean, and I sprayed a black high gloss uh, paint and finish onto the metal. The base will be black, and then I painted the shelves blue. Uh, it was, honestly, I picked blue because it was what I had on hand. I would, probably would have done green <laughs> to match the rest of like my squat rack in my other video. And if you haven't checked out my squat rack build, you can hit the link on top. That will, uh, uh, I wanted it to match that, but honestly, I'm cheap, and so I just used blue instead. I also added a high gloss finish on it just to help uh, maintain the paint as long as possible. The next step was to build the wood top. 
This wood top is out of white oak. I took it over to my miter saw, I rough cut it, I took it to my joiner and my planer, got it all squared up and perfect, then I glued those two panels together. I needed a little over 12 inches, so these two panels worked perfectly. Once they were glued up after 24 hours, I sanded it down and it was time to mark off where I wanted the medicine balls to be. I used this paste wax to mark off where I wanted to grind uh, the shaping disc. So I have this shaping disc that's really rough and it's perfect to carve things. I wanna make these little divots, that way the medicine balls don't roll off the top randomly. This will hold them in place and uh, just be a better fit overall. After all four spots were grinded down, I sanded the whole thing again and I added some boiled linseed oil. It's a great finish that I use for a lot of white oak projects. The next step was just to assemble it. I added the shelves to the rack and added the wood top, screwed it in with six small screws. Lastly, it was time to move the weight rack into the gym and get it into place. Now I have kettlebells that range from 10 pounds all the way to 85 pounds and they all fit on this rack. It was perfect. The floor is not perfect in my gym so I had to shim the bottom with some foam feet but after putting the weight on, it's really stable. I'll probably still go back and add a strap to the backside that way it's secure to the wall and in case anything happens it doesn't tip over. Like I said at the beginning you can use this exact same idea to weld up uh, your a dumbbell rack. It's very simple you can um, use that tubing and you put your dumbbells right in between you just got to measure where you want those two support beams. It's really easy to do it's a perfect beginner project and you can probably make some good money doing it because it only costs me like 150 bucks for the metal and I already had the wood on hand. You could use a cheaper wood than white oak like pine or something and you could actually make this for really cheap and sell it probably on Facebook Marketplace for a lot more. Thanks for watching guys. Check out the other videos I have on here like the backyard renovations, the trailer remodels or the squat rack build. I'll be doing more about my home gym in the upcoming future so check out those videos. Make sure you subscribe and I appreciate you watching. See you next time.